This guitar I bought 31 days ago. And the reason I know that is because it was shipped 31 days ago. This guitar that I bought uh, used on Reverb came from Canada. It took 22 days to traverse Canada, eight days uh, to get across uh, the United States to me. But I wanna say this, this is important. I wanna say thank you to the postal workers who got it to me. I know I mentioned it was 31 days, but it could have been 131 days, to be honest with you. In this environment, the fact that you guys are delivering guitars like this so that uh, we can enjoy them, the fact that I can make content for people, the fact that I can, when I'm stuck home, I can find some sense of joy, if, even if it's finding a guitar that's a memory of a childhood. It's very cool that we still can function the way we do, and I want to thank them for that. It's very important that we thank the people that are making the joys still happen. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, this one, it's in a case, but you can tell uh, there's no packing material. Well, at least it doesn't feel like it. So I'm trying not to be... I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so let's get into this. Obviously they taped the crap out of it. It looks like it looks like a lot of tape. Let me see how to get into this thing. This might just be a video where I just unbox. We have a case. The case doesn't look damaged. Look at that. I mean, I didn't really think it would be. I mean, it takes some abuse, but of course, I want to see it first. <laughs> it's got newspaper shoved in the case. <laughs> so here's the guitar with just newspaper shoved into the guitar. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know if the guy who sold me this is going to watch this video, but here's a tip, dude. This is the worst I've ever seen a guitar packed. So. Uh, you lucked out. It looks like it got your safe, but I would I would imagine anyone, any, I don't know. This is scary. Okay, so let's get in it. What is it? Well, it's a 1988 USA made BC Rich ST3 standard and had a retail price of $899 the year it came out. So this has humbucker single single, Floyd Rose style bridge, rosewood fretboard on a maple neck, and it comes in a beautiful bright 80s yellow. The craziest thing about this guitar is it was a real departure from BC Rich. BC Rich, founded in 1969 by Bernie Rico, had innovative designs, neck through bodies, and of course, those amazing electronics designed by Neil Moser. But by 1985, probably from pressure from Charvel, Jackson, and Kramer, they started making super strats. Now this guitar is what I would consider in player's condition, which is fine because I bought this not as a collector's piece, but as something I want to play. First thing is the bridge. The bridge is original, which is what I detected when I was looking at the original photos on reverb. It has a DiMaggio super distortion. Now I confirm that by pulling it out. And more importantly, if it's not the original pickup, it is the right era. This is an 80s era super distortion pickup. So we're good. The neck and middle pickups are the original pickups that were in this BC Rich and they have a ceramic blade style pickup that probably at the time was trying to mimic the, the hype and the excitement of EMGs. In other words, they probably made those look that way aesthetically to help sales, but I could be wrong. It does have the original neck plate, which is very important. And it also has hairline cracks on both sides of the neck. And I did a video talking about that and what causes that. It would be very hard to find a guitar this old that doesn't have hairline cracks. Not that it matters to me, but I also checked to make sure all the electronics were original and there doesn't seem to be anything that's out of place, but everything works as it should. The three on off switches are also original and they also work as they should. The frets, are they've been crowned and leveled at least twice but you know let's give it a okay nut is nut looks original tuning keys are not original he has jackson tuning keys that's how we know they're not original i saw that in the uh, the photos on the uh the reverb but they he didn't drill new holes so i can put uh, Goto or our nicer tuning keys on there, which is what I expected to do. It's one of those things where it gets a little tricky and one of the springs it popped off. You can hear that. That's a spring. I can hear it's not a big deal. That's why the bridge is tilted up so high. So what I did is I went ahead and put the spring back and tuned the guitar up and everything seems to work. Let's, let's give it a play. I tuned it up to standard, hit the bridge because that's all that matters. <laughs> let's give it a play. <laughs> it's 
fun. It has this three switching system. So they're on off switches. So up is off on all three pickups. So if I want the bridge, I would hit that one down. And if I want the, the, uh, the neck, I'd hit that one down. Middle that one down or combinations. I can do bridge and middle or bridge and neck. <laughs> This is what I think of when I think of Beast Rich. Some of you guys out there think the Warlocks, think the the uh, the more modern guitars that they make. Obviously, the vintage guitars, you know, the older ones from the '70s. My first experience with the Beast Rich was this, and uh, in this crazy, you know, bright color. Like I said, this bright yellow. This is something that I thought would be fun, and um, and something that, to be honest with you, I know will hold some value. Uh, I'm not think I don't think this guitar is ever going to be valuable. In other words, uh, worth a lot of money by any means. But I think it always holds some value because it is a piece of music history. BC Rich was a part of a sound for a decade or so, or maybe even two decades. BC Rich was a heavy player in the soundscape of that music. It was definitely part of the optics uh, because of the fact that it was in MTV and so many places, album covers. Uh, so when you think BC Rich, although a lot of BC Riches are black and they're very cool, I think a lot of the uh, that pizzazz of the 80s, that flash, the flashy color guitars, when you think of those Kramers, these BC Riches, uh, the Jacksons, the Ibanezes, um, you know, insert your brand here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is my uh, cool BC Rich. Till the next time. <laughs>